Yo, 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 what is up? I'm Solar Wolf. This is Solar Wolf Plays. And today we're checking out my collections again for my great Lego stuff. Hope you guys are ready for it. Here we go. Let me flip around and poof. So, as you can see, guys, we have definitely gotten our mock world growing. You can see here it's definitely gotten quite a bit bigger, guys. I've gone and stuck the um, sky tower that you saw me do the build there. It's now floating above our pig house there. You can see it kind of just floating a bit. You can see our two phantoms there along with Alex floating around and flying along. Then you come down here and you can see we stuck the um, that old cave build. The discontinued cave build is right there. You can see Alex and Steve inside. Doing their thing and dealing with some spiders. Above that, we've got the um, panda nursery here, so you can see that. We've got the little sky islands, little fl the sky towers um, floating garden, just kind of sitting there along with the snow stuff. Let's see here. We've, of course, got our end scene with Alex and Steve fighting the end dragon. Come over here, we've got this beautiful water scene with Alex in a boat. And then down here, you can kind of see there in the background, you can kind of see that we got Steve and a drown under there swimming around. <clears throat> Coming over to our giant, you know, cave structure here with the mountain, we've got our, of course, our sheeps and stuff. We've got a Steve there with an enchanted bow and uh, an iron pickaxe. We've got our giant Alex, of course, as you can see there. We've got this nice little tent piece built with a nice player character under there working on a craft bench. And then I went and added this to it, guys. This is actually an openable section here where you can open it up and see down inside the cave where we've got Alex and Steve walking around. We've got some skeletons in there. You see the diamond blocks there along with the... Um, that would be the horse stable there with a moo bloom in it and a horse with diamond armor in it. Got a couple of creepers here being chased around by an ocelot. We'll come around this side so I can show you guys down into here. And you can see there we've got another Steve. We've got some spider webbing and a creeper down in the cave. We've got this, you know, skeleton walking around up here and stuff. But as you guys can see, I've been slowly expanding. We've got our nether scene here with, of course, my character and whatnot. And we've now got three wither skeletons along with them two blazes. Coming down and around this way, you see where our bee farm is. We've got our little, you know, bee girl flying around there. I took the tower for the sky tower set and made it my um, illager outpost. So we've got this nice illager tower set up here. We've got the ravager, of course, and all of that. You can see here we've got the zombie cave set up. We got Alex and Steve running away from an elemental creeper there. That's one of the um, Minecraft minis, miniatures. But you can see over here we've got, it looks like a Steve running into a cave. We've got a guy over there chopping down wood. And we get around the other side, guys. And we will check out the village. And then I took the dungeon and we stuck the dungeon over here, guys, so... There's the dungeon there, along with our herd of pigs. We've got now three kitties that are over there, too. We've got our four villagers now, along with our wandering trader, and his two llamas are back here behind the thing. So his llamas are there. And then, of course, now that we've got that new house, we've got I went and put the bed from the um, panda nursery inside that um, sky house there. So that is there. And that is pretty much our Minecraft mock world so far. Give me a minute, guys, and I will flip back over in three, two, and one. All right, guys, so that was that stuff. We're going to go over and check out some more fun stuff with our other sets. Give me a second, guys. It needs some light. All right, and so let's go ahead and check that out. So as you can see here, guys, I've built this little miniature hut here that you can kind of see through. And if you look inside, it's a small droid workshop with some people inside. We then have the Hoth Medical Bay Center here. And of course, you know, we've got Luke getting all healed up inside. And we've got 
Leia there, and then we've got, of course, General Dodonna, and a, just a, you know, random resistance person. Coming here, you can see we've got the Mickey Mouse set here, the Mickey and Minnie's rocket set, along with our cute little alien. And we've got our minifigure sets here. And you can see that it's got pretty much everything. This would be here, the start of our solid gold collection, our 20th, 20 years of Lego stuff. You can see we got the portal set in there too. And you can just kind of see we've got some Looney Tunes in there. We've got the leftover clone troopers, regular storm troopers. We've got an extra Leia there. Some other Disney stuff. You see the Marvel characters there. You can see the Lego Batman there and, of course, Carnage. Moving over this way, you see our Live by Faith, One Day at a Time rock. Then, of course, we have Privet Drive there. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around so you guys can kind of see the inside of the house. Looks like the cake fell over, which I expected. So give me a second, guys. We're setting that up. Like that. So that's the inside there. You can see I've got Dobby and we've got the whole family sitting there. We've got Harry upstairs where he usually is. Let's go ahead and flip that back around for you guys so you can get you guys can kind of see the front of it again. And there's our privet drive spot. Then this here is the um Fluffy Encounter, as well as the Polyjuice Potion Mistake. They're modulars, so I was able to put them together. And so I set them up like this. So you can see there we've got Ron Weasley up there in the tower top part. We've got Hermione down there doing the uh, music for Fluffy. And then we've got Harry down here in the Vines area. And then there's our Polyjuice Potion mistake with Harry, Hermione, and um, Ron Weasley. So there we go. Looks great, don't it, guys? Love it. The next one, guys, I'm not going to turn around. It's just too much of a hassle to turn around, but that's Buckbeak's um, rescue there. So we've got Hagrid, and we've got the Minister of Magic, the Executioner, and then, of course, the kids in Buckbeak. So that one is that. Coming down here, we have some more Star Wars stuff with Luke's X-Wing and the 501st Clone Troopers, Walker and Speeder. We've got our random knockoff Lego guys here. Alice, my goodness. Anyways, give me one second, guys, and I will switch to another setup. All right, so you can see here we've got our two speeders, our two land speeders, our two different Luke sets. We've got Obi-Wan's Hut. Unfortunately, that was one of the videos that got corrupted that I had to get rid of, guys. So, unfortunately, you didn't get to see that. There's our um, Tusken Raiders and their encampment. And then we've got a couple more things to go. We've got our Lego cars here. We've got Ghost Rider's car. We've got the house from Privet Drive. And then we've got, of course, a tree truck there with Spooderman in it. And then you can see we've got some model cars there. And down down here is my Mandalorian set with the Mandalorian armor. You can see the Mandalorian and the Christmas one there. And then you can see our excess sets. Anyhow, guys, that is pretty much it for those. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. You're absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much. Always remember to stay amazing. See you in the next amazing video or stream. Love your faces. Bye, guys.